Hello, my name is Kelly Antone, PLC Training Instructor with PCC. In this lesson, I am going to cover forcing in TIA Portal. In the Program Blocks folder, I am going to go down and open up the main Program Block, OB1. Then I will enter in a network title, forcing. Next, I will change the zoom level to make the ladder logic a little bit easier to see. Then for the forcing demo, I'll insert a normally open contact and a coil instruction. I will enter in a tag that does not exist. So I'm going to enter in switch underscore nine. So this tag is not defined. And I will also enter in a new light tag. It'll be light underscore nine. That is not defined as well. Next, I will right click on the network and select define tag. For the section, for the switch, I'm going to pick global input and I'm going to change the default address that was selected. So I'm going to pick I 1.0 for switch 9. And I will change the tag table to be demo tags. For light 9, I will select the section as global output and change the PLC tag table to be in the demo tags table as well and press define. Next, I will save my project, highlight the PLC, and download the changes into the PLC. So I will select Load, Finish, then I will start monitoring so that I can see the logic. So switch 9 will turn on light 9. I'm going to open up the watch and force tables and then open up the force table. I'm going to float the force table so that I can see my logic and the force table at the same time. For the first address, I will enter in Q 1.0, which is the address for light 9, and it will bring in that tag. For the force value, I'm going to enter in a 1. Then I will press the F with the play button, and then that will start forcing. When I select force all and say yes, the F above the light nine tag indicates that it is being forced, but you will not see the logic being updated because the value is written directly to the card. The yellow maintenance light does come on while you're forcing. I will stop forcing, say yes. The yellow maintenance light does go off and the F disappears above the light nine tag. Now I will delete this entry, and I will enter in the switch 9 tag. This time I'll just enter in the tag name, and it will bring in the address. Now I will enter in a force value of 1, and I will start forcing. In this case, the value is being written to the card, and then that's being copied into the process input image area. So now you will see the logic being updated. But there is also an F above the switch 9 that indicates the value is being forced, and the yellow maintenance light is on, indicating the value is being forced as well. Switch 9 will be forced on now based on the force value. So it does not matter if switch 9 is flipped on or off, it will always look like it is turned on at this point. Now I will delete the force entry, and the value is still being forced in the PLC because the force job resides inside the PLC. Now if I open up that force table, it will actually prompt me to update the operands from the PLC that are being forced. So now that will bring in the force table and bring in the value that was being forced. So I'll just resize that table so that I can see my logic again. So value is still being forced. Now I will stop forcing. And now I would get control of switch 9 back, and the maintenance light has gone off. Now I will close the force table. I will go offline, and I will save the changes to this project. And this concludes the lesson on forcing 